us that we may worship and praise you, Lord. And Father, we make this prayer, Lord, as we request that you may continue blessing us, that my Father, we may be found in your house, worshiping you and praising you. For we have not seen a God like you. You have been a caring and a loving Father to us, O oh God. In the name of our Lord Jesus, Lord, may you receive our praises and our, and our worships. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, we pray. Amen. 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 May you be blessed by the Lord. We have our pay bill. That is, go to MPESA menu, click on Lipa na MPESA, choose the pay bill option. Our business number is 247247, 247, and our account number is 258510, hash sadaka, hash tithe. You can also use said money, that is through 0713 258510, Kevin Kihungwa. With me here are the announcements from the discipleship docket. We are encouraged to continue with our devotions daily, even during this exam period, and also maintain integrity in our exams. From the missions docket, we are having our annual mission early January 2025. We are encouraged to apply to be the host missioners and applications form are available so you can please apply using them. Kairos course will be next semester. Let's also prepare for the same. It's Kairos, when I say... for students and uh, 10,600 for the uh, associates. Registration links have been circulated and you are urged to register for the same. So when I say Commission 2024, you say, as the Lord has sent me, so sent I you. So Commission 2024, Commission 2024. So be blessed as we look forward to examine the topic emotional intelligence. Have you ever wondered what kind of energy you give? How others feel while they are around you? Why is it that some people seem so excellent in their personal interactions? All their answers in emotional intelligence. Dr. Jane was full of wisdom and leadership of education. She degree of science and diploma in education. Dr. Jane's journey of knowledge doesn't stop there. She's currently immersed in the enriching pursuit of masters in strategic management at Catholic University. Her passion for education has been a guiding light for more than two decades. <laughs> Hallelujah. Na naona mmesha nipatia title ya doctor. I'm still Mrs. So my name is Mrs. Jane Wafula. I'm born again. 
and Christ is Lord. I'm really honored to be here. I've had a, a, a long day really at work, but I was determined to be here. Sasa nimetoka mbio. Kwa sababu niliambiwa hapa lazima kuweka masaa. Bwana asifiwe. Asifiwe tena. Yes, and from the word, uh, the, the, the term itself, emotion, we have different kinds of, emo of intelligences. We have intellectual intelligence, that is something to do with the mind, the intellect. We have social intelligence, how you socialize with your colleagues. We have spiritual intelligence, matter spirituality. But we also have another very important aspect. We call it emotional intelligence. It is something to do with our emotions. Are we together? In the marketplace, because that's where I, I am, marketplace just means in the business world and in companies, we have come to discover that somebody can have good papers. Makaratasi akonayo. But now person is very intelligent in terms of IQ. But things like working in a team, collaboration, or controlling his emotions, you find he has a challenge. He might be good in IQ, but you find as a team player, his dragging or his performance is not as expected. And now the trend is tending towards looking at a person holistically. Yes, somebody has papers, but what else has that person has? Does he have emotional intelligence? The definition of emotional intelligence uh, is the ability to recognize, ability to understand, and ability to manage emotions in your, ourselves and also in other people. So, Ability, emotional intelligence, ability to recognize an emotion, ability to understand. After you've recognized the emotion, are you understanding that emotion? And then, are you able to manage that emotion in yourself and also in other people? I can give an example. There's a day I walked into a class. I was going to check on a teacher and I was actually going to give not good feedback because I had picked that some work had not been done. So you know, I was coming down my office and rushing, rushing to this door. When I just opened the door to the class, I found the teacher bending on her desk and she was sobbing. Sasa mimi nimetoka kwa ofisi na masira zangu nataka kumsomea. Kufungua mlango na pata meinama and she's... <laughs> In such a situation, what are you supposed to do? Kuendelea kusema, wewe, kwa nini ujamaki vitabu ya watoto? Wewe, nini, nini? Is that what you are supposed to do? What do you do in such a case? If it were you, what will you have done? Tell your neighbor. Ungefaja nini? Okay, okay. Now, I had come I had come downstairs na yo asira yangu. Remember, I have my own emotion. Asira ni emotion, sindio? And it has been triggered by the fact that work has not been done the way I expected. So I was going down to give feedback based on that asira nye nikonayo. But when I opened the door and I saw this uh, wonderful lady sobbing, I forgot about my emotions. I looked at her and understood there must be something really hurting, isn't it? And now how to manage emotion? In my case, I, I had to cool my anger and now try to be empathetic to understand, my dear, what is going on? Why are you so being early in the morning? And it was something that had happened 
while she was coming to school. Are you seeing? So those are matters emotional intelligence. Are you able to understand your own emotions and are you also able to understand other people's emotions and are you able to manage them? Hallelujah. Are we together up to there? Yeah, so emotional intelligence is divided into four clusters. Emotional intelligence is divided into four clusters. Cluster number one is self-awareness. Can we say self-awareness? That is cluster number one. Self-awareness. So, let, let me jump. We just go straight to self-awareness. Self-awareness is the core of emotional intelligence. It's self-awareness. It comprises of three competences. Now, if you are somebody who is self-aware you will have these three competences. Number one, you will have emotional self-awareness. So you can put A, emotional self-awareness. This is where you are able to read and understand your emotions as well as recognize their impact on other people and on your work, performance, and relationship. You can have a, a, you know, a, a, a don't care attitude. You just don't care. So you can say anything around you. But before long you will realize people will start to avoid you. Isn't it? Because there's this negative energy you, you, uh, you, you elicit when you are among people. Are we together to there? So you need to be able to read your emotions. Sometimes maybe uh, um, you are interacting with your friend. It is good to listen to yourself and say, eh, what is going on inside me? Maybe inside you there's something you are dealing with. Maybe your mother is unwell. You've just gotten a call from home that your father is not able to pay that school fees. So your kitu iko inakusumbua ndani. So utapata ukiinteract na watu, sengine unaongea kwa, kwa hasira, lakini kumbe ni kuna vitu una deal nazo. Si, tuko pamoja paka pale. So, we said in relationship, so accurate self-assessment is where you are able to give realistic evaluation of your strengths and also your limitation. Under emotional intelligence, self-awareness. If I give you, I tell you, just tell me, two of your strengths and two of your weaknesses. Usiseme two strengths, you need to also know your weakness. Can you tell your neighbor two strengths and two of your weaknesses? <laughs> Start with the strengths. <laughs> I go to the weaknesses. Okay? Is there anyone willing to share? Anyone willing to share a strength and a weakness? Could a microphone? This is an interactive session. Can someone share two strengths and two weaknesses? Any volunteer? Let me see a volunteer. Can I get a volunteer? Akuna mutu anataka ku volunteer. <laughs> Anyone? Okay, let me share mine. Let me share mine. I know one of my strengths is that I'm very good in organizing or supervising people. Yani nikikuwa mahali kitu nitakana ifanye na jipatanga mimi ndio napanga watu. Wewe fanya hii, wewe fanya hii. Na mimi mwenyewe sifanyi lakini nafanya <laughs> <laughs> now, panga. Like when we are home, uh, na, they just know me. When some engineer kikuwa pana tuanga, we washa jiko, we katanga mboga, we ende a nini, we nini, alafu naka, alafu na saile chakula imeiva, ni naenda na tu seme kuna shere, na peleka bakuli, na mbia wale wa mama, we kachakula kiasi apa tufunikie. 
Then after my sisters and brothers have worked all day when they are coming to sit down wageni washaenda na watoloya chakula yenye niliwachukulia mapema. Wanasema ndo uzuri yako wewe. Unatufikiria? <laughs> so I organize. I'm not into hands on but I can really organize and I'm very good in if I stay with you I see potential I can really push you to do things which you thought you will never do Like one of the things I have with my team mtu akikuja kwa ofisi yangu na nimwambie today you are the one addressing parents on this issue Hiyo inakuanga nishaweka full stop Aende kwa choo aendeshe aende afanye nini azunguke asilale the whole night mimi sitaki kujua atetemeke ni sawa but i've come to realize after the event is over mtu anasema aki miss jen suli ni sukuma ni ilikuwa nimetetemeka na kumbe ninaweza kufanya you see that is a strength isn't it but my weakness i know sometimes i can really have very high expectation of myself and then when things don't work out it really affects me so that is a negative thing okay so i need to to see the clock oh can use my phone okay so that we don't are we getting something are we understanding something yes yeah, so we are still under self awareness another as, uh, competence under self awareness is self confidence this is where you have a positive and a strong sense of your worth unajielewa that you have value and there's something you are bringing on the table sasa uweze kubali mtu akucheze tu aseme wewe hata hakuna kitu na you know this is my worth like if you are getting in a relationship you know yes i'm getting in this relationship but this is my worth and these are my standards that is being self confident okay And then another aspect because we said under under emotional intelligence we have four clusters. So cluster number one, self awareness we've talked about it. Let us go to cluster number two. Cluster number two is self management. Self management. So after you've become aware The next part now is how do you now manage yourself? So under self management we have five competences and the first competence under self management is self control. This is the which is keeping disruptive emotions and impulses under control. Have you ever met these people like when they are angry they will just kick the table, hit the glass, throw the ball? Have you met such people? isn't it yeah and then there are also those others who when they are excited they get over excited until they don't even do anything again so you need to have a, a sense of kuna mtu mmemjua anakuanga over excited yani akifurahi na furahi paka zeta tukuna kitu so you need to have a, a, a sense of ability to control your emotions isn't it even if you are going through a painful situation yes it is painful if you need to cry cry but you see now you can't cry forever it reaches a place you are like okay i have cried i need to wipe myself i need to know this is the situation so i start thinking what do i do next that is self control okay And then number two competence is transparency. Transparency is maintaining standards of honesty and integrity. Transparency is maintaining standards of honesty and integrity and managing yourself and responsibility. So under self management again you need to have the ability to be transparent that means you are honest about the standards you've set for yourself you are integral unasema ukweli unafanya mambo ya ukweli and then you are also able to manage responsibility is there's it's some work to, you need to do and time is limited are you able to prioritize and say now this is my priority now i have maybe two hours 
but there's so much to do. Which things are urgent and important? Which ones are urgent but not important? And there are others which are not important and not urgent. So those ones can wait, isn't it? So you give priority the one which is important and it is urgent. So if you are able to manage yourself in that way, we say you are a strong, uh, you, are, you have a strong emotional uh, intelligence in the part of transparency. Then number three, co competence under self-management is adaptability. 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 Adaptability is the flexibility in adapting to changing situations and overcoming obstacles. Adaptability is the ability to be flexible in adapting in changing situations and overcoming obstacles. Are we together up to there? Because life has a way of throwing um, surprises. Maybe you had planned, you, 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 you want to do a particular course when you come to the university. But now, it happens that maybe you miss by one mark. And you had this dream of maybe becoming an engineer or an architect or a doctor. And you just missed by one mark. Does it, does it mean it, that is the end of life? No. What do you do? You need to have a sense of being able to adapt. You are like, yes, I didn't meet my target, but this is what I have. With what I have, what can I do? And then you, you change. Okay? And this also applies in organizations, in companies. Maybe you'll be there working or you are a leader. Maybe you expected uh, a particular number of customers. They didn't turn up the way you expected. Or you, you produced a product and then it backfired. You took a product to the market. The people did not buy the way you expected. That means that you are going to have some losses. But now do you give up? You don't give up. You go back to the drawing board and try to work on your product again. Where did you miss it? And you go back to the market. You count the losses, but you give it another try. Maybe the way you had packaged it is what did not work. So maybe can you change the packaging? Or maybe you thought clients, um, clients want this product the way you've packaged it. Like I was watching uh, on uh, LinkedIn, there was this survey that has been done. It is called a hundred brands that Kenyan women love. A hundred brands that Kenyan women love. So this organization did a survey. Wakauliza wanawake wa Kenya. They did sampling in different towns. So wakauliza wanawake wa Kenya. Which product do you love? Or which brand do you love? Sasa kulikuwa na answer tofauti tofauti. Wengine wanasema when it comes to mambo ya communication, we prefer Safaricom. Others prefer Airtel. When it comes to mambo ya unga, ya chapati, kuna wale wanapenda ajab. Wengine wanapenda X. Isn't it? Sasa venye walifanya ranking, kulikuwa na zile top 10 products zenye wa, wanawake wa Kenya walisema wanapenda. Do you know one of the products that got out of 100, it was in top 10. Kuna hii mafuta ya ngombe inaitwa Arimis. <laughs> Kina dada, muna jua Arimis? <laughs> muna itumia? And it was so funny because the producers of Arimis were producing Arimis for what? Arimis inakwange ya nini? Ya kukamua, sindio? <laughs> Arimis inakwe ya kukamua. Ni mafuta ya ngombe. Lakini sasa survey inaonyesha wa mama wa Kenya wananunua Arimis kutumia kujipaka sana kushinda hata wale wanyo wanakamua kule nyumbani. Very interesting. I'm just talking about adaptability. So you see this company is producing Arimis for cows, but now the market is embracing it as lotion for, for ladies. Are we together? 
So watu wa hiyo kampuni natakana sasa wa just sasa wazi package vizuri for for ladies. So that's just one example of our adaptability. And then next is also initiative. Initiative is the readiness to seize opportunities and act. This is under self-management. There's a competency called initiative. Initiative is the readiness. You need to be ready to seize opportunities and to act. Unaona kuna ka opportunity, you jump into it. You don't wait. And in Campus Christian Union is a very good opportunity to build your leadership skills, to build your um, uh, collaboration and teamwork skills, to build your singing, music skills. So when you are here in campus, maybe you may power these small, small groups. Since opportunity to be a leader in those meetings, you are practicing for your future how to manage and handle people. And we usually say, if you are able to handle and lead people in campus, yani wakaisha chini wakuskize, ah, you can run a company. You can. Because campus students <laughs> are harder to manage. Isn't it? Yeah, kwa sababu kule inje ni mtu ata, ata humble lakijua aspo humble mshahara atalipwa. Lakini hapa si ni freelance. So for people to just sit and listen to you and you are not paying them anything. That is an opportunity we need to seize. And then uh, let us go now to aspect the, the nini. We said the first one was which one? Self-awareness. We were talking about the um, the different uh, the different concepts under the different clusters under emotional intelligence. The first one we sell self-awareness. Second, self-management. So to me, Maliza, self-management. Next, number three, social awareness. Social awareness. Under social awareness, it comprises of three competences. Under social awareness, that means are you able to be aware and understand your society around you. Number one, empathy. Empathy. This is a competence under social awareness. Empathy. This is to un understand others and taking an active interest in their concerns. Empathy. Do you remember the story I told you about the staff I was going to, to give feedback? You know, I had to let my emotions down and be empathetic. Put myself in her situation. For somebody to be crying early in the morning, surely there must be something heavy. So I had to give her time to finish crying and also to just try to understand, are you able to share? She said, yes, I can share. And you help them manage their emotions. So that is empathy under social awareness. Then B, organizational awareness. Organizational awareness. This is the ability to read the currents of organizational life and build decision networks and navigate politics. Organizational awareness. We can also say institutional awareness. Be aware of your campus. What are the policies and the rules? How, what is the culture of the institution? And how best can you maximize the culture or the, 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 the available atmosphere or policies in the institution to grow yourself and to connect. Kitu ya mahana hapa, mu build inaitwa nini? Networks. Unapatanga mkisha toka campus, the relationship you build in campus, they are the ones that can hold you longer after you've gone, you finished campus. Munasikianga hizi vitu utinaitwa alumni. Alumni. Do you have alumni here? Yani wale wanafunzi wa kitambo, bado wakona marafiki wawe nyo alisoma hapa pamoja. So wanakutana kule inje na wanakuwa marafiki zaidi kwa sababu wamejuana kwa muda mrefu. So take advantage of that. To be emotionally intelligent is to know these things and build strong relationship here in campus. Then when you clear campus, maintain those relationships. Some of you will go into marketing. Others will go into doctors. Others will go into farming. Others will go into what? So, siku hile mtoto wako anakuwa mgonjo, unakumbuka, eh, nilikuanga na Naomi, nalifanya medicine. Sinimpigia nisaidia hii situation. Isn't it? Eh, ama nasikia nania kwa Nairobi, na mtoto wangu anenda kusoma huko Nairobi. 
na tulikuwa na campus so make sure you maintain those relationships so that center organizational nini and then the third competence center social awareness is service orientation service orientation this is recognizing and meeting customers needs this is recognizing and meeting customers needs so this is in, in reference like for a company it applies well okay but even as a ceo because we are serving people you need to be able to to meet the needs of the students you are serving you know a ceo church will be different maybe from a, ch a church in the estates the needs of the students are different so the leadership has to be aware are we meeting the needs of the people we are serving as an as a as a as an uh, an institution and then cluster number we said number 1 was what number 2 number 3 social awareness number 4 relationship management cluster number 4 relationship management The social cluster of relationship management is comprised of seven competencies. Under each cluster tumekuwa tunaandika competencies, si ndio? So relationship management under it competence number one that you need to develop for you to be referred to as an emotionally intelligent person. Number one, visionary leadership. Competence number one is visionary leadership. This is inspiring and guiding groups and individuals so develop your ability to inspire people to do something you can just start with your friends are you the one who inspired them to do positive things kama ni saa kwenda maombi unaambia eh bwana 2020 tusichelewe you are already starting to 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 build uh, to develop your leadership skill ability to influence people competence number 2 competence number 2 is developing others developing others this is the propensity to strengthen and support the ability of others through giving them feedback and guidance so we will say you are an emotionally intelligent person if you are free and you are able to give people genuine feedback umaenda mali kwa nini mko tu mali maybe after lunch mmekutana class Muna piga story mna piga story na moja wenyu sukuma imekwama kwa meno Na story inaendelea tu So you are like four people story inaendelea tu na mwenzenyu anacheka na nini there's a green nini <laughs> There's something green Ama mjaji pata situation ka hiyo Sasa the three of you kila mtu anashindwa nani ndo atamwambia nani we hebu enda ujangalie sukuma imebaki kwa kwa meno si ni ukweli yes so an emotionally intelligent person in such a situation anambia hey my dear hebu check yourself in the mirror there's something wrong isn't it eh hey, ama mtu tu ame 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 perform kitu na hakufanya vizuri lakini hampei feedback mwampei feedback sasa ya na fikiri yanga kwamba ana performing vizuri. Kumbe hapo ana ana hit nje tu. Ana hit nje tu. Na siku zinasonga. Na hiyo kitu ina concrete kwa akili yake kwamba he's doing well. <laughs> so that is unfair. Can you tell your neighbor that will be unfair? <laughs> yes. So make sure you give your friend feedback. If they did a performance or they did a presentation and it, it didn't go very well or you saw some things maybe unamwambia presentation yako ilikuwa mzuri lakini ulikuwa unajirudia rudia sana umesema same thing like three times why can't you just go straight to the point or you are presentation was so good but it would have been good if you added maybe a b and c isn't it for men it is uh, out of study kwa wanaume inakuanga rahisi kupeana na kupokea feedback na mwanaume atapokea tu feedback vizuri rosafi especially kama kazini most of them not all of them but most but for us ladies 
Mtu akikupatia feedback akwambie kwanza eh akio presentation yako ulijaribu lakini utabeba huyo mtu kwa roho. <laughs> utambeba kwa roho. And that's how now you miss out. You need to be open as friends to just be open and be discussing. Somebody tells you, "Eh, mimi naona venye you are getting close to that guy and the way I know him inaweza kukuletea shida." Unasema hapana, huyu anataka kunikatizia. Eh? Eh, ama namtaka. <laughs> so, the ability to to develop others. And then if if somebody is good in something, please let them know. That these people who when they just speak or their discussion they are very good debaters. Unaambia eh hey, I like you are a very do you know you are a very good debater? Do you know you are very good in organization skill? Do you know you are very good in influencing people? Do you know you are very good in timekeeping? Keep give people feedback. Kama mtu nini anavanga vizuri style yake ni mzuri ya kudress, unamwambia I like your dressing style. Isn't it? Can you tell your neighbor I like your dressing style? <laughs> okay, let's continue. Influence, let us go. So we said co- under relationship management, under relationship management, the first competence was visionary leadership. The second one is developing others. Number 3, right influence influence can you say influence? influence yeah this is the ability to exercise a wide range of persuasive strategy strategies with integrity and also includes listening and sending clear and convincing and well tuned messages An emotionally intelligent person is a person who is able to influence other people. They influence in various way. You influence by your ability to persuade. Because people have many options of maybe of things to do. But I uh, have you developed yourself in such a way that if you have a good idea, you are able to make people listen and actually even leave whatever they are doing and follow you to do that thing so that you are able to achieve an objective that is ability to influence isn't it and it's especially very important in leadership then number four, change catalyst under relationship management core competence change catalyst change catalyst this is the proficiency in initiating new ideas ability to initiate new ideas and leading people in new direction so develop the ability to to initiate like you you can see an opportunity around now unasema si tufanye hii idea kama tu for example if you you're here and maybe you have um i can use what like rally days or maybe community day alafu mmoja wenu anasema si tuchange pesa tunue branded t-shirt so you see that's an initiative isn't it So utakuwa umeanzisha kitu maybe watu wako wanavanga branded t-shirts sasa wanaanza kukuva branded t-shirts so you become a branded CU you have initiated change you have improved the organization and then next competence is conflict management this is resol- resolving disagreements and col- collaboratively developing resolutions conflict management kukiwa kama watu wamekosana ama wewe umekosana na mwenzako how do you handle the conflict do you just keep quiet and let things go do you give yourself time a little bit and then approach the person and say kulikuwa na hii issue maybe you, you didn't come out well na mimi nilichukulia hivi na utapata kwa hizo vitu mki discuss it's just a matter of misunderstanding kidogo Maybe ni, mimi niliona hivi na wewe uliona hivi ndio mimi nikajibu hivi na wewe ukajibu hivi sasa nikakasirika mimi pia nikakasirika isn't it so you need to develop the ability to if there are conflicts don't let as the bible says don't let the sun go down isn't it so deal with that anger during that day and resolve it okay and then number six, building bonds 
Number six, building bonds. This is building and maintaining relationships with others. Usikwe lone ranger, make sure you have friends and keep expanding your circle of friends. Because the more we are, the more kila mutu analita dynamic yake, and then our friendship becomes rich. Maybe this one is strong in this one, in this uh, one aspect. Another one is strong in another aspect. So when we come together, we synergize our, our strengths. We become a formidable force. Okay? And then last competence under that is teamwork and collaboration. Teamwork and collaboration. So this is the promotion of cooperation and building of teams. I don't think I need to explain that one is very, very straightforward, isn't it? Are we learning something? So what are the four clusters? Number one? Number two? Number three? Number four? Relationship management. So I want to throw in something. I want to throw in something. Seven practical ways to increase your emotional intelligence. Seven practical ways to increase your emotional intelligence. So number one, Make a habit of reflecting on your emotions. Make a habit of reflecting on your emotions. So I want us to do this exercise. Everybody breathe in. Breathe out. Okay, relax. Put your everything down, your pen down. Your pen down. And then put your hands on your laps. Put both your hands on your laps. Sit upright. Come on, crouch kwa kiti, sit upright. Hands on the lap. Now, I want you to close your eyes. Let us close your eyes. Everybody close your eyes. Have you closed your eyes? Unasema yes na unaniangalia wewe wa. We are safe, we are safe. Just close your eyes for one minute. I want you to look inside and think about it. Which emotion is going on inside of you. Just think for a minute and give it a name. Which emotion is now going on inside of you? Have you been able to identify it? Give it a name. Okay, tell your neighbor which emotion. <laughs> Can someone share? Pen a microphone. Mutu wa share. Give someone to share. Which emotion is going on? Give, 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 give that lady there. Ah, twanzi apa. Apa ni pe apa? Aya. Which emotion? Which we are Which emotion is existing now? Anxiety. Anxiety. Remember, we said emotional intelligence, you must be able to recognize the emotion. And recognizing the emotion means you give it a name. So he has rightfully said, when he closed his eyes, the emotion that was present at the moment was anxiety. Isn't it? So maybe I could ask, what is causing that emotion? Give him the mic. <laughs> what could be the reason? Because emotions, emotions are elicited from something. There's something that causes that emotion. Why anxiety? You, you anxiety neza kwe mekosiwa na nini? 
Ama venye tu, nilisema ufunge macho sasa unashangaa nini ta happen. Yeah. Yeah, you know that can cause anxiety, isn't it? Aya, pena next. Which emotion? Which emotion was top? When you closed your eyes, which emotion was at top? Ulikuwa na feel aje? Maybe I can say anxiety too. Sorry? Anxiety too. Also anxiety. I want a different emotion. Anybody else who's free to share? Aya peana pale ule shati ya blue pale. Joy. Joy. Yes. What could be the reason what elicited that emotion? Being in the presence in the fellowship of brethren. Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> Can we clap for him? <laughs> that is so true. Isn't it? So, I'm teaching you a skill of reflecting on your emotions. Reflect on your emotion and be able to to mention it. Isn't it and give it a name? Sometimes you 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 just keep quiet and listen to your heart. You are like I'm feeling I'm feeling I'm feeling sad. Then you ask yourself what is causing sadness? You know you can be smiling but you are sad. Eh? Yes, that means maybe there's something inside you are dealing with and you've not found a solution yet. So your kitu inakusumbua. So you are like I have mixed emotions but the emotion that is really standing out is sadness. So you ask yourself what is causing this sadness and what can I do to elevate the sadness? Maybe should I talk to someone? Maybe should I take a step and do something about it? Is it something I can pray about it so that the sadness can be taken away? Isn't it? So we said uh, practical ways number 1 is to do what? reflect on on your emotion okay and then uh, under that you can also look at uh, reflect on how you uh, you deal with how you receive news be it positive news or negative news in such moments how do you which emotions come up and then develop now the ability to be able to control those emotions number 2 ask others for their perspective how to increase your emotional intelligence number 2 ask others for their perspective why is it important to ask others for your perspective you know kuna mtu anasemanga ah mimi sinanga mambo mimi ni mpole ah atuwe ni mpole lakini venye sisi tunakuona ni kitu kingine tofauti sana si ndio eh atimi sinanga mambo so it's important sometimes to be asking feedback from others because we see ourselves differently than others see us ask a friend or a close relative or colleague how you react when they are when you are emotional the answers will help you to achieve more accurate view of yourself mtu atakwambia ah wesa ile umefail exam he unakasirika una blame kila mtu but you know the issue is maybe uko so haukusoma na utaki uambiwe hivyo sawa number 3 be observant number 3 be what observant so be observant eh i'm doing this new uh, knowledge about emotional going forward you can be more observant of your current emotions reflect on your emotions but also observe other people look at other people and be able to read their emotion can you look at your neighbor and try and guess which emotions they are experiencing ebu mwambie i think you are feeling this way and give it a name <laughs> Okay? So be observant. Number 4, very important. Let's go. Number 4 very important. Take 
a meta moment. Take a meta moment. Meta is just M E T A. I love a moment. Take a meta moment. In short, it just says take a pause. Especially when you are dealing with emotions of anger and rage or something has really disturbed you. Sometimes it's just good to breathe. Yeah. You breathe in, breathe out before you make a decision. You see, sometimes you can make a, a permanent decision based on temporary situations because of your emotions. Isn't it? So, mtu wame kukasirikia nini, 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 nasema ata mistaki friendship, ime isha, siju nini, you fake. And this is somebody who've been friends maybe for three years. Just something little happened. Maybe if you took a moment and thought about it, ujulize, and what, what could I also have done that could have contributed to us having this conflict? And then number two, is it worth throwing away all the years we have built just because of this one, one moment of conflict, isn't it? So take a pause. The pause is as simple as taking a moment to stop and think before we act or before we speak. It is an ability that is hindered by factors like added stress. You know, when you have stress, it's very difficult to, to make your mind relax and just think. We go under stress, the mind is just fidgeting, fidgeting. You are not thinking straight, isn't it? So in such moments, try. It might not be easy, but try to calm yourself down and really think about what you want to do. Practice pausing before responding to an upsetting email or information or before posting on social media or commenting. Unanyua upia uneza tu post, post vitu out of anger and then later inakuwa ngumu ku undo. Isn't it? Number five, focus on feelings and not events. Focus on feelings and not events. Are we doing well so far? Are we learning something? Yes, focus on feelings and not events. Thank you. Focus on feelings and not events. Show empathy. Try, try your best to see situations through other people's eyes. We may not understand why they feel uncomfortable or angry or hurt, but we can all relate to those feelings and that helps us to understand and relate to the person. Isn't it? So focus on, if you're interacting with people, just focus on how they are feeling and put yourself in their shoe. Uneza sema, na wewe unapenda kukasirika, kwa ni kitu kidogo? But to you it might be kitu kidogo, but to that person it, it has some weight because of one or two reasons. Isn't it? And then number six, don't take offense. Number six, practical ways of building your emotional intelligence, don't take offense. Criticism is never easy to take, but when you receive, there are two choices. You can let emotions get the best of you, or you can learn from it. So don't let emotions close your mind to negative feedback. Use it to make, it, to make you better. So like if you get somebody criticizes you, you are never good in this, you can choose to be mad or you can choose to say, eh, na kwanini kweli ameniambia evo? Maybe I need to work on yourself. So you can choose to actually turn that criticism and develop yourself to work for your better. And then lastly on that, how do we develop emotional intelligence? Number seven, practice, practice, practice. Do what? This practice. Iseme maratatu. Practice, practice, practice. Yeah, that means kwanzia sai. Kwanzia sangapi. Eh, mkwetu unafanya practice, unambia your friend, I'm feeling this way. I'm feeling excited. I'm feeling sad. I'm feeling anxious about these coming exams. I'm feeling happy about uh, our fellowship today. Define those emotions so that it just becomes a habit. The more you define them, the more your mind will always be aware of them. That is emotional intelligence in short. Are we together? 
I'm sure we've been able to, to cover the, the, the definitions and then the different aspects of emotional intelligence that define if somebody's emotional intelligence, they need to have all those competences. And then we've also looked at what are the practical ways of just developing now your personal uh, emotional intelligence. Thank you very much. It was such a privilege to be in your midst today. Asante Nisana. Praise the Lord. Bwana sifiwe. Yeah, uh, it was such a nice um, teaching. Praise the name of the Lord. You know, it came a point when Hebrews says in 5.12 that uh, sometimes we need milk, not solid food. Praise the name of the Lord. I'm waiting for that scripture. Hebrews chapter 5. Verse 12. Yes, in fact, praise the Lord. To answer 11, 11 says, We have much to say about this, but it is hard to make it clear to you because you no longer try to understand. It says in 12, In fact, though, uh, though by this time you ought to be teachers, you need someone to teach you the elementary truths of God's word all over again. You need milk, not solid food. Praise the name of Jesus. There are some who have not heard a scripture today. Let's have uh, James chapter 1 verse 19. James 1 19. Uziseme umekuja na ujaandika first. It says, my dear brothers and sisters, take note of this. Everyone should be quick to listen, slow to speak, and slow to become angry. Why? It says, be, because human Ega does not produce the righteousness that God desires. Therefore, get rid of all moral filth and the evil that is so uh, prevalent and humbly accept the word planted in you which can save you. Amen. You can pardon Father 19 and tell your friend in a loud voice, be what? Amen. Amen. So, thank you so much for coming. Asande sana, Mrs. Uh, Jen Wafula, for such a topic. We thank God for that. Amen. I know you have received something. You have taken some notes. And I've seen some people without notebooks. Praise the name of the Lord. So, next time, eh? expect such a kind of a teaching. So, come, come with a notebook. Amen. Yeah, tomorrow there are champions that we are going to meet at our champions tomorrow at 10, 10 to 11 for one hour for a briefing. So if you registered as a champion and you are in the group, also I remind you, let's meet for such a briefing. Amen. And uh, also about the commission, actually it is ours. Praise the name of the Lord. It is possible. Are there delegates of Ezra? Hallelujah. Yeah, so it was such a nice uh, experience, so do not miss Commission 2024. Yeah, it is 5400, but you can start support raising as early as now, beginning with 1,500. You can register with 100, Bob, I know there are some links that are circulating. Just register with 100 and uh, continue to pay. Lipa mdogo mdogo. It's acceptable. We can be on our feet as we request someone to be on the keys. And... Uh, as we worship the Lord this evening and give him praise. Hallelujah, my God reigns. What do you say? Oh? Hallelujah. He reigns. He reigns. What do you say?
Jesus reigns. What do you say? Oh, hallelujah.
of God through the emotions the devil can use that as a loophole to make us not to produce the righteousness of God as the word has said that anger do not produce the righteousness of God you can put your anxiety there your emotion there something that can make you not to produce the righteousness of God and take a minute and deal with it if we fear the word says that Christ took away the fears if we worry the Lord says do not be anxious do not be worried even the bars of the air they do not worry yet the Lord provides for them Jesus that give of all glory, no emotions, the Lord will draw us away from me. That Jesus Christ, your word will dwell richly in our hearts. And Father, we will overcome the evil. The Lord is produced by anger. The Lord is produced by emotions. And Jesus, we will stand firm in Christ the solid rock. In the name of Jesus, for Lord, you paid it all. Jesus, I know, Father, we are a man of weaknesses. But the Lord is saying, Child of weakness, watch and pray. And Jesus, to find you, find it all. Jesus, you paid it all, you paid it all. We want to see you and we love you all in Jesus' name. Jesus, pay it all. grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. I welcome us for our Sunday service. We shall be having one service.
sustaining the zeal. Amen. Let's come and hear the voice of the Lord. May God bless you as we walk in groups to our blessings.